I want to talk about fate versus free will. Sometimes in life, things just happen because we're meant to experience them. You know, our soul signed up to a contract in which in this life, we were meant to have this experience or go through these set of circumstances. Um, and it's just the universe just working for us and giving us the people, places, situations that we didn't sort of work towards, but again, they were meant to happen. These were events that were meant to unfold in our lives as a part of our spiritual evolution and spiritual growth. Now, free will is relates to co-creation, that we're co-creating, that we're manifesting our reality that um, in our lives and the choices that we decide to make and the things that we do, the paths to go upon, the things that we um, achieve, you know, the career, the um, relationship we start, um, the um, life that we lead and we have free will and we can have the empowerment to act on that free will and, you know, do what we want to do and do what feels right for us to do and do what we desire to do and feel inspired to do. Um, so it's really a balance between these two different sides of, you know, yes, we have, you know, the choice to do this and we are um, spiritual beings living a human experience and we live our own lives and how we want to live them um, based off of our, you know, calling or, um, you know, desire to become something greater, to move into something, um, to um, achieve something. And then some things, you know, like whenever there's eclipses, those are faded periods of time, faded um, events where um, we really change and we really transform and we really are seeing things being taken away from us and things being um, given to us. Um, and, you know, God is not playing with dice here. Um, and he isn't having a rough day either. Um, or, you know, whatever you believe um, in, you know, higher power is the fact that, um, you know, whatever is right for you will not be withheld from you. And um, rejection is God's protection. If you're not meant to experience this or have this at this particular time, then the universe is going to withhold it from you and you're not going to get this thing. You're not going to experience this thing. So it's really all in divine timing, right timing. Um, and um, yeah, so, you know, it's important to accept our fate, accept our destiny of where we're going. We also have free will to control our destiny. But, um, you know, there was an astrologer that I follow, um, that I mention, um, who is Deborah Silverman, and she had a song called Falling in Love with Her Fate that she made, and it's a parody off of the Yellow Brick Road from The Wizard of Oz. Um, where Dorothy and then, you know, these other, um, you know, scarecrow, a ten man, a bear, you know, or a lion, um, go to the Wizard of Oz. And then th there's this whole storyline. So follow the yellow brick road. Falling in love with her fate is the song that she short, sort of came up with. And I also think that astrology can indicate fate can indicate, okay, this needle chart is undeniable evidence, a, you know, a cosmic blueprint that you were born with that shows you this is going to happen, um, and you define the needle chart. You have the power to, you know, create, you know, your own life and, um, you know, manifest, um, you know, what you want to and how you want to live your life. Um, but, um, you know, certain things where there's predictive astrology, where certain cycles or transits or, um, you know, points in your life 
where things will just happen, come. And at, at this point, you're meant to grow. There's this challenge, there is this crisis, or there is this opportunity, or there's, you know, this some kind of experience, good, bad, or neutral, that you were meant to experience as a result of um, fate. Um, and if we can find the peace, serenity, and, um, you know, in our acceptance of that fate, we can really go far with our lives. So it's really both the end of accepting our fate and co-creating our reality.